Everything in the Declaration has already been written. You may find it in the elementary books of public right, the works of Aristotle, Cicero, Algernon Sidney, John Locke, those authors, their works, each and every one of you have read and reread frequently, do you not? No, you do not. I know you do not. Today we're heading out to Monticello. That's Thomas Jefferson's home. Carrie has some work to do here back at the RV. So Chloe and Sophie and I are going to have some fun, but first we've got to get some breakfast in us. Bacon and pimento cheese scrambled eggs. We're going to enjoy this breakfast and then we'll get off on our adventure. Chloe, what do you think about the pimento cheese scrambled eggs? They're really good. They're really good? Sophie, what do you think about pimento cheese scrambled eggs? They're not. Not your favorite? I like them pretty well. How about the bacon, Chloe? They're good. Bacon's good. Sophie? Bacon's good. They're definitely my children. We love the bacon. It's good.
we had a great trip to Monticello, Thomas Jefferson's place. That's a, a home he designed himself. It initially was just two stories, eight rooms to start with. And then later on, it expanded. We got to see a fantastic Thomas Jefferson uh, interpreter. Toured the vegetable garden, toured the flower garden. I learned that um, Thomas Jefferson went for a daily horse ride. And he said that he wanted to keep doing his daily horse ride until he died, and he wouldn't give it up. Right? Yeah. You would agree with that, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. I liked looking at the vegetable garden. The little watermelon that had just sprouted. I was also reminded that Thomas Jefferson was the um, main writer of the Declaration of Independence. And I ask you this, citizens. Can you eradicate the written word? Can you destroy it? the printed word, particularly when it's disseminated to the greatest extent and continues to live and breathe with every successive generation. We toured as much of the house as they had open. When it came time for lunch, we took a break from the heat, went back to the car, and we had packed a picnic lunch. And I believe they have picnic areas there you can enjoy, but we chose to turn on the AC and sit in the car, and that seems to work well for our family. We've done that a couple times now cools us off, settles us down, and we can head back in refreshed and, and go enjoy some more things. After lunch, we went back and enjoyed the gardens. So if you have any tips for us? Yeah, um, stay hydrated and take pictures. Did they tell you anything about taking pictures in the house, Sophie? No selfie sticks and no flash. That's right, and no tripods. No tripods. Mm -hmm. That's inside the house. You can have those outside the house. So we and took pictures with the with Thomas, with the Thomas Jefferson interpreter, and um, we wanted to have our masks off, but we also wanted social distance. So Sophie and I stood on either side of him, but we were in front of him too. So you could still see him in the picture, but Sophie and I were six feet apart from him, in front of him, so we could have a picture without our masks on. The other children might not be as interested because of the history, um, but you sh you should. Um, Going to the family program. They had an area set up geared towards families and children, and um, the presenter in that area specifically talked to Chloe and Sophie and talked about their ages and how it relates to what's going on there. Oh.